So here we have the Renault Captur on a 68 plate. And I'm going to start off by hopping inside the car and running through some controls first of all. Just briefly before we climb in the car, I think it's well worth seeing the boot space on this vehicle. Uh, as you can see, we have a 60-40 split folding rear seat so that you can increase this space even further. And then this tray section can lift and remove to give you even more space underneath there again. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. We have the digital readout for the speedometer in the center and the fuel gauge over on the right hand side. In the center at the top, we have the total miles of the car. They are 33,817. If we back out to the steering wheel, we have cruise control and voice activation for your phone there. Of course, you have to pair your phone up in order that you can use that. And you do that on the touch screen in the center just here. Uh, for now, we're uh, not going to pair a device, of course. When it comes to music, We've got the radio, and you can see we've got DAB, FM, and AM radio available to us. You can get back to the home screen down the bottom. This is where you listen to your own music. Nothing is connected at the moment. You can insert an auxiliary and USB uh, device. You can also uh, stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well. So plenty of ways to listen to your music after you paired your phone, of course. And we've got satellite navigation as well. There's a full video. Uh, that we've done showing how Renault's sat-nav works, which you can find on our website and on our YouTube channel as well. Below that, you can adjust the temperature within the car for the climate control. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. The air conditioning is on at the minute, so you can turn it off with that button. Or hit auto. The car will now take control of the direction of the air and the fan speed to maintain the temperature that you've asked for. Any manual adjustment will override auto straight away. You can see that's now gone off. Uh, you insert your key here, and this is the button you'll use to start and stop the engine. Then we have the five-speed manual gearbox for the car. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see this ULES compliant car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to call either of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.